started here. My name is Dylan. And welcome to Theater for All Summer Camp Show. Let's go. You heard of Theater for All before? What do you know about it? Yeah. We do plays. It's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this is Wilmington's only theater uh, arts troupe for folks with disabilities. We've been doing shows now for three whole years. Fall semester, spring semester, and a summer camp show. So that's pretty cool, huh? Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> so, you know, the first thing we need to say before we start the show, there's usually stuff they say before a play or something like that. Anything you remember? What do you think? Should people crank their cell phones up real loud so they go off in the middle of the show? What do you guys think? Is that a good idea, Gage? Turn to crank the nose, right? So make sure, let's just check our cell phones real quick, make sure we turn the ringers off. But is it okay to take pictures during the show? Oh yeah, we encourage you to take pictures. Okay to shoot some video during the show? Absolutely. How about this? Is it okay to introduce yourself to uh, some of the actors after the show, say hi and say that you enjoyed it? Absolutely. We hope that you'll do that. Anything else or is that pretty much it? I think that's pretty much it. So ladies and gentlemen, we present to you Theater for All Summer Camp Show Snap Judgment. So, you know, I've been doing stand-up since I was 18, you know, and just like Paul Simon, I'm still crazy after all these years. <laughs> In fact, fun fact, the original title was still non compass mentis after all these years. Or at least, that's what the local chapter of the uh, Latin group told me. <laughs> um, so, I know you guys want impressions, so the rest of it, that was just an opening joke, the rest is impressions. So here we go. So, yeah, I'll, I'll already thank you, I appreciate that. Um, so, what's gonna happen, I'm, I'm gonna take a bunch of celebrities, you'll see what happens starting with Aziz, I'm sorry. Okay, man, it's me, Aziz. I don't know what to do, there's impending danger. What do we do? Man, there's gotta be somebody here. There's Stephen Wright. Hey, it's me, Stephen Wright. I, um, I had a job recently of holding up uh, balloons, and then uh, unfortunately they rose into the sky, and the guy said, what are you gonna do now? And I said, I don't know, it's up in the air. <laughs> That's not helping! Where, well, who's next? Hey, it's me and Norm McDonald there, you know, that's pretty good there, you know. Hey, yeah, if you think about it, you know, I'm dealing with the, uh, it's the so-called, uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, impending danger. Hey, isn't that right there, Colin Quinn? Thank you, folks, I'm Colin, you know, it's still my thing, you know, I mean, the impending danger, you know, for Brooklyn. <laughs> Doesn't get much more tough than that, folks. Got that kind of trail out. <laughs> Okay, who's next? It's me, Kevin Hart. All right, yeah, I'm scared. We're all scared. It's a pen of danger. Aziz, you're with me. I mean, I don't know what to do. I put my family first. In fact, in, in, in the case that they're in front of the danger, I'm behind them. I tell my wife and kids, hey, okay, I'm telling you honestly, I'm not gonna get hurt. You are. <laughs> oh my gosh, but it's true. That's not helping. I hear, I, here's a random guy singing the theme song to Charles in Charge. The new boy in the neighborhood 
lives downstairs and it's undisturbed. He's there just to take good care of me. Like he's part of the family. Charles in charge. That's enough. It's not helping. I go to the team song, the greatest American hero. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. I can't, I can't, can't believe I feel so free. Stop it! Not good. Who else do we have? It's me, Lou Costello. Oh boy, God, I'm a little, I'm a bit scared. I saw my, 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 my mommy. What? That's not good. And I saw Dracula. I saw, I saw him. I've seen him with my own eyes. But, but it's broad daylight. It must be that synthetic blood. No, I think that's a show from the show True Blood. Oh boy, I'm a bad boy. Mm. <laughs> We have a uh, yeah, boy, we have Ted Koppel. Good evening, I'm Ted Koppel. And this just in, I can't do a thing about this. And Lou Dobbs is here. It's me, Lou Dobbs. Almost like Ted, you got Ted, Lou, Lou, Ted. That's definitely not helping. Oh my gosh, we're scared. We need someone. Who's gonna save us? Oh, I know. We have got me. I'm gonna save us. No, I'm not. I'm too scared. All right. <laughs> and let me, see, let me do one more bit. Thank you. Okay, and then just one more uh, short bit, and then we'll get on. Um, it's very good. It's me, the neuro. I like talking to other people, you know? I was talking with, uh, you know, Peter and Stewie from Family Guy. It's very good. How you doing, Peter? Oh, man, I am doing fantastic. <laughs> that is hilarious. Right, Stewie? Oh, yes, you go ahead and just do that over there with that thing with you do, you little fat man. You're awful. But I do like the idea of a parade. <laughs> it's, it's very good. It's very good. Hey, Robert, when are you going to do a, a movie again with action and not some sort of romantic comedy where you get one star from the ratings? <laughs> I mean, it's not cool, man. All right. Hey, thank you very much. All right. The magical Melinda. I, I hope so. <laughs> All right, well, you guys know how the game works. I'll explain it. Snap judgment, a can you find. We have three acts. Three acts. Each one will get to perform in an act while the other two take, take their places and will answer questions af after the act. <laughs> Thank you so much. After the act. And from then, we will, uh, we, they will win a prize. The prize, of course, is the wish of a lifetime. Whatever they wish, their wish will come true. Their wish comes true! Yeah. 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 This wrong week is awesome! <laughs> so far, I'm on, the, I'm, the, I'm on the fence. All right, let's meet our contestant! Alright, nice to have you guys. Let's see, who do we have? What is your name and where are you from? My name is Bob, and I'm from New York. Excellent, Bob from New York! <laughs> and you the what is your name and where are you from? My name is Zendaya, I live in Hollywood. This is Zendaya, she's from the way away from Hollywood. Two concrete blocks away from here. Alright, and so, yeah, oh, okay, oh, yeah. And who do we have here? I am Bill, and I'm from Vermont. Very nice, nice to have you. So again, as you know, as you guys will take your places, Bob, I believe you're in the first half, is that correct? Yes. Excellent! Okay, Bill, and Dan, take your places. And Bill, we'll see you in a minute. Okay, so here, so you will see the app, we will ask three questions. We will ask the, the audience will get to help as well. I got it, Wayne. 
Oh, oh, okay. Thanks, Fred. Thank you. All right. Where is Melinda? Um, hopefully, Melinda, Melinda could not make it, unfortunately, so instead we're left with <laughs> good old Fred. But I can't wait to see what happens next. We are going to have a lot of... Already? All right, come on out. And please welcome the one and only, the mysterious, the, the mythological, Xan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the amazing hypnotist, Xan. Many magicians uh, have... Uh, excuse, excuse me. Yes. Is your name Sam? No, it's Sam, not Sam. Many magicians. Yes. It's not X Sam. It's Sam. No E. Many magicians have attempted to do what I think. Uh, what? It's not Kazam. <laughs> it's Sam. X A M. Oh. Three letters. Many magicians have attempted to do what I have mastered, but none have been as successful as I. As you know, I am a magnificent hypnotist. But first, I will need a few volunteers. <laughs> You with the silly hair. <laughs> yeah. You in the nice dress. And the princess. <laughs> Young lady, who are you and where are you from? I'm Miley from Malibu. Malibu. Miley from Malibu. <laughs> now lady, who are you and where are you from? I'm uh, um, Mary from Chicago, Illinois. Mary from Chicago. Tall <laughs> guy with a stupid haircut. <laughs> Who are you and where are you from? Well, my name's Ted, and uh, I'm from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, and I'm a uh, custom unicycle repairman. And I just want to say, this is not a stupid hair. This is called a man bun. You ever heard of it? No. Nope. Apparently, you don't read Men's Health magazine. But anyway, I also, I was raising my hand. I didn't want to volunteer for this thing. I just wanted to know if you knew what the Wi-Fi password is. But anyway, I'm here, so let's do this. All righty. <laughs> now, first, I will set them into a hypnotic sleep. You are getting sleepy. Your eyelids are getting heavier. You are ending a sugar high. <laughs> and you are hypnotized now. All right, now they are in a deep sleep. And now I will give them a trigger word which will activate a hypnotic state for them. Princess, when I say the word milk, you will turn into a cow. <laughs> Lady, when I say the word movie, you will turn into a British actress. <laughs> Guy with the dumb hair, when I say the word kid, you will turn into a three-year-old. <laughs> and when I say the word stop, you will revert back to your normal selves with no knowledge of what happened. All right. Let's get some magic done! Ah! It's my dad drank home. I, I have to take this, I'm sorry. Hello, Dad. Dad, why are you getting milk? Milk! <laughs> why are you at the movies? Hey, 
sorry guys. I think my dad might be right. I'm a failure. This. Um, what do you think? Should I just quit and just hit the buttons? No! Done generation examination. Yeah. All right, you know what that buzzer means. Time for time. It's time for the first round of questioning. That's me. I'm out. Where, where is it? Okay, first question. What made Miley moo like a cow? Bob. Milk. That is correct! Okay, second question. Who called the hypnotist to tell him he was throwing his life away? All right, Zendaya. He's dead. That is correct! That judgment question for both of our contestants. Should the hypnotist listen to his father and quit his current job or stay a hypnotist? B B Bill. I'm a farmer. I grow food. That was terrible. He said quit. Fair enough. All right, Zendaya, same question. Should the hypnotist quit his job or stay a hypnotist? He stay. Okay, very good. And over to the audience. All right, now you guys get a turn. Should the hypnotist listen to his father and quit his current job or stay a hip? Stay! 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 I heard stay, very good. Fred, I'll take it from here. Okay, all right, let's see. Second act, Zendaya, I believe you are up. Zendaya and Bob, please straight places. Okay, you guys know how this works. Once again, we'll see the act. There will be three questions. from Hollywood. Yes, I know. Something along those lines. I would reconsider. You're me, double up. No, thank you. He's a cow, he's a cow, he's a cow. Alright, I'll be, I'll take it. Alright, very good. Okay. So we ready? Oh, all right, excellent. They are ready, so get ready for the next act. When I move.
moves with me. I can feel the ground under my feet shape like an earthquake. When I move, I feel powerful, unstoppable, brave, fearless, bold, courageous, and daring. When I move, the wind moves with me and it lifts me up in the sky where the clouds are. The clouds form into different shapes, shapes like people, and they dance with me because the clouds love it when I move. Great job. Okay, Fred, please get out of my way. All right. You are getting you are about to get up my very last nerve. All right. Okay, nicely done. Zendaya, I want you to come on back out here. But first, before that, sorry, gotta get those questions. Well no, Zendaya, come on out too. Alright, I know you're somewhere back there. Believe me. You are. <laughs> right. Not a problem. Once again, thanks for your feedback, Fred. Okay, first question. What was the title of the poem? Oh, I... Oh, no, no. <laughs> what was the title of the poem? There we go! <laughs> that is correct! Oh, there we go! Late reaction! What color were the dancing umbrellas? <laughs> Alright, good enough! It was white. That is everything. Everything was white. That is white on the money! Good job! Once again, there we go. I'm gonna have to talk to the management. Okay, what's more entertaining? Snap judgment question for both of the contestants. What's more entertaining, poetry or Minecraft? Let's go. Oh, oops. That was okay. Okay, Bill, over to you. Poetry, it's beautiful. Good answer. All right, over the box. Same question. What are you? What's more entertaining, poetry or Minecraft? Minecraft, because I'm a gamer and it's fun. <laughs> and there's always peer pressure. Very good. Okay, and over to the audience. Snap judgment. Can you find what's more entertaining, poetry or Minecraft? <laughs> I heard a little bit of both. I think we're going to go with Minecraft. Good job. Yeah. Oh, you'll feel okay. Thank you, Fred. Okay, Z um, Bill, you are up next. Zendaya, why don't you go ahead and trade places? You're the next guy. All right. Coming up next, it's going to be fantastic. Another act on the way. 
we are getting ready. We are going to have another edition of Ask Your Anatomy. Find out in one moment until then. All right, Fred. Okay. Wow. Perfect. Let, let me hear it. It was something. All right. All right, let's bring out our panelist for Ask Your Anatomy. All right. You guys know how this works. You, we will take questions from the audience. Our panel experts will, an, will answer them and they will do a fantastic job. So first up, we have Dr. Quick Thinker. Hello. Very good. Next, very nice. Next up, we have Heart Stopper. Hello. And of course, all the way at the end, we have the stomach, also known as the stomach. Good. All right. Do we have a first question from an audience member? Ooh. I can't. Okay, see you on my left. Oh, very good. Yes, you young lady. Thank you. I have a big decision to make. I really want a cat, but I really want a dog. I don't know which one to get. Mmm, that's a toughie. Um, Doctor Quick Thinker, tell us what you're thinking. Well, the Omni can't throw the dog because, you know, not to get grim or anything, but if you get a cat, there's a 50 chance that if you die in the house, the cat will probably eat you, and <laughs> dogs are more, more loyal than cats, so that's better than with a dog. All right, Brady with the claws are coming out. All right, heart stopper. Knowing that the heart really knows what it's talking about, I would like to have both because having a dog and a cat can get along, and it's good to have a friend like a cat and a dog, and when your dog sleeps with you at night, why not? Aww. Aww. Completely heartfelt and stomach. Gotta ask you the important question before you answer. What's more important to have a cat or a dog? Eat a taco! Yeah! Alright. Well, important, my man. High five, dude. Right. Okay, do we have a second question? Um, my girlfriend broke up with me and it's all this crop. What should I do? Mmm, um, that's a toughie. Dr. Quick Thinker, put your brain stems to work. Just don't go to prom because prom is extremely expensive in itself. And honestly, you could put that money to greater things like tuition. They don't have a bigger uh, student debt. <laughs> Economical. All right, heart stopper. That is so heart wrenching. <laughs> Dealing with that, I would, you know, since I'm all heart and not bad, I would take her out even though you are not, you are not a couple anymore, make up, have fun with friends, and just have fun with it and enjoy your time with her because she'll enjoy your time with you. And then, in the end, it'll all be all right. Aww. Here you go. Did you, um, maybe a hug? Maybe a hug. <laughs> Yay! Woo! The heart wants what the heart wants. Good job. <laughs> All right, over to the stomach. Quick, gotta ask you the question first. Okay, what, you, you just, you want to take your girlfriend to prom, you just broke up, what do you do? Be the taco! <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Uh, any uh, another question? Okay. It's your lady here. Oh yes, please yes. Should I buy cotton candy or an apple? Ooh, buy cotton candy or an apple. Good one, Doctor Quick Thinker. It's a, it's a sweet idea. Well, apples are much healthier than cotton candy. Even though I know you little, you like sugar, but for your future, eat an apple. <laughs> All right, and they'll keep the doctor away. Dr. Heartstopper, or rather Heartstopper. I love cotton candy. It's a treat that everyone likes at the fair or the circus, and I think it's a fun treat to have, and I'll eat it every day, all day. All right, he is in love with the cotton candy. 
Okay, so, the stomach, also known as the stomach. Okay, what, what would you prefer, an apple or cotton candy? Let us see. Eat a taco! Yeah. All right, I think we have time for one more question. I see someone in the back. Yes, you. That's very nice, Seth. Um, I have this huge problem, and it's so awful. My cell phone's dead, and I don't have a charger! Oh. What should I do? Ooh, dramatic. Got your quick thinker. Put your thinking cap on. Are you honestly wasting my time because your phone died? You could be doing better things like reading a book, you know, getting knowledge instead of wasting your time on a screen. Mm. Deep thoughts. Heart stopper. Well, in the words of one of the most well-known bands of all time, you don't need a charger. All you need is love. <laughs> love is the answer for everything. Thank you to the best band on the planet, The Beatles. Very good, seems like a very good choice then. <laughs> All right, and I'm, I'm getting a feeling of what you're gonna do, but the stomach, your phone charger died, you don't have your cell phone, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Eat three tacos! Yeah. Right. That's right, you hit the direct extra mile. Good job. Do we, do we have time for, do, I guess, one more, one last question. Yes, yeah, I, yes, you, sir. What's the second part of the, um, oh, or Harry Potter? All right, should he go to, uh, to, Bush Gardens. Bush Gardens, or pay attention to Harry Potter, quick thinker. Harry Potter world. <laughs> All right. Magical answer. All right. Hard stop. I just got a phone call and they want you to come to Harry Potter world tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I hope you're in love with that answer. All right. And finally, the stomach. Bush Gardens or Harry Potter. It's probably not going to be either, but let's see what you have. Need a taco. All right. I'll Backstage. We'll see you in just a bit. All right. Thank you, Fred. All right. We're going to get those questions in just a moment, and then we are going to have one heck of a time. And oh, here they are. Excellent. Thank you. That's probably the first thing you've done right, Fred. Okay. What food seems to be the stomach's favorite? likely to use math in giving her advice. All right, let's go over to Bob. The brain. That is correct. All right, and the back of this math judgment question to both of you guys, which organ gives the best advice? Zendaya. Heart. Heart. The heart, very good. And Bob, same question. Which organ gives the best advice? The stomach, because I like tacos and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'll see you on Taco Tuesday. So we're down to the heart of the stomach. Okay, audience, your turn to help me decide which organ gives the best advice, the heart or the stomach? The stomach. <laughs> All right, it got very muffled at the end, but I heard stomach. All right, thanks a whole bunch, everybody. Contestants, come on up. I have, I have tallied up all the points. Yeah, no, I added a few bonuses here. Oh, that, I didn't ask you to do that, Fred. Okay, but very good. Okay, so the winner is 
These things are so hard to open. <laughs> Bob! Good job! Congratulations to Bob! All right. But before we get to Bob's wish, Bill, what would you have wished for? A million dollars. Hello. That is terrific. Zendaya, what would you have wished for? Be it matching. All right. Well, don't worry. You get to go home. You get to take our home game with you. All right. All right, Bob, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. It is here, but first, what is your wish? I wish for a Japanese pop dance party with Wonder Woman. Yeah! Okay, you heard it, folks, so it's time, as usual, for the wish to come true. Here's a Japanese pop dance party with Wonder Woman.
Labor Day. Every Saturday we're here and we'll be creating another completely unique and amazing performance for you just before Christmas. So come and join us. If you feel to, please feel free to leave a donation. It's how we keep this amazing program going. Um, we want to thank Zach and Elisa and everyone here at Kids Now. as it's one of our biggest fans' birthday. So, Kashi, would you like to just come up on the stage for a second? What do you mean? Oh, Anna's not having it. You've got to get up here. We're going to sing you happy birthday anyway. You ready?